Vicki here with you and today I'm here for day number 23 of the um, 30 inks in 30 days challenge so today's ink is another water water band it's the last uh, ink that I have from flight 38 so the next time around that we uh, so tomorrow I will be using the beautiful inks that Sarah sent to me so for this one this uh, water man is tender purple and I figured it would be nice into in this uh, vintage pen, which is an Onoto de la Rue K4. And it dates, from what I saw, it dates back from um, the late 50s. So I got this off eBay and uh, we're going to be inking it up with purple, which is a lovely color. And hopefully everything is gonna go according to plan so let's hope it does so it's a piston filler the good thing with this one versus my my Kaweco is that um, you can unscrew this portion that has access to the nib and so therefore I think should it should there be any issues I think it would be easier to um, to fix but we shall see uh, now I'm, I need uh, something wet let me just wet this a bit because I have a little bit of ink all over this and I don't want it all over my hands because I've already had a, a messy um, start to my day today so it would be nice not to have more oh boy we've got drips Either it's very juicy or it's leaking. Or I made a mess when I put it in. Okay, so we're gonna start it off. It's a very fine little nib, like very fine. Okay, so we'll put this like so and check it and hopefully the ink is not going to spread everywhere meanwhile we're going to do the splotches it's a very pretty purple And you know me in purples um, of course the only reason I would get this if uh, I ever got it would be to put in vintage pens just because of the fact that it's um, uh, it's waterman so technically it should be safe for fountain pens let's just add some more to this yeah wipe it off because I hate to waste and put this into water okay so so far so good doesn't seem to be leaking yesterday I put the um, it, it shows very very dark in this pen it's either that or there was still ink in it that was left over didn't look like it but maybe if there's blues that would explain why it's more like violet uh, so waterman and it's the tender purple and we're April 23rd and I'm using my Onoto La Rue K4 Gray. And we're going to do the poem here, the I Love You by Carl Sandberg. And we shall see if 
the color changes while I'm writing. Because that could happen if there was still ink in it. So far so good. Seems to be a little bit paler here than it was at the top. to be careful because this nib seems to flex very easily. Might be just the shading because if, if I look at the chromatography there's quite a lot of dark and quite a lot of blue in it. So maybe that's why it's coming out that way in the pen. It's very fun to write with this ink. Um, that it's really the ink that's showing up a lot darker than you would expect because um, when you look at this it looks really pale but when you look at the chromatography of this thing check that out check out at the top how dark it is so clearly there's a lot of dark in this ink so that might be why it's it's showing up so much shading because it's impossible that my pen was that dirty. Um, I, I don't think it would change that much, like there wasn't that much ink in it if there was any, um, that it would change the color to this deep dark um, purple. And if you look here, you can kind of see that there's a lot of darker and here too there's like shading so I guess that's and here too check out here right over there there's a dark darker area right there so so yeah I've got a feeling that it's a lot darker which is very surprising but turns out really beautiful and that would definitely um, because I'm much more of a purple person than a blue um, or a gray and um, to put in some vintage pens um, like this seems so much happier than putting it putting a gray in it and I love seeing the ink switch the swatching around in it and the fact that you can take this thing completely apart will make the cleaning very easy um, should I need to have a big deep cleaning so I'm really happy with this. Um, I hope that you've you've enjoyed seeing this vintage little pen and this very surprising purple. Because to me, it doesn't look like tender. It looks darker. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it. See you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.